All right, everybody. Um, so under the heading of <clears throat> I use Spackle for just about everything, um, I've framed up the, uh, the trapeze uh, hook, the sky hook, if you will. Just uh, framed it up using aluminum tubing and a little bit of uh, strip stock, balsa, 16th inch strip stock. So the, the way uh, this was done was off the cuff and seat of the pants. I didn't really have a plan. You can see I've, I've got a little bit of a correction to make to the front leg. Uh, anyway, um, this is a little bit rocky. Anyways, uh, so tubing, uh, 332nd tubing for the legs. And again, there's a crossbar yet um, that will need to go uh, in this direction make it sort of like an end strut or a reverse end strut from this side. So two crossbars are ready to be put in place and they go this way on both sides. But uh, for all intents and purposes this is the, 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 the basis of our of our skyhook. And the tubing that I used um, for the actual uh, ramp um, is uh, eighth inch tubing. So eighth inch tubing across the along the top, and then the the tripods uh, will will be um, uh, the vertical supports will be are are three thirty seconds, and uh, the attachment was done um, using the Gillo rigging thread, which is a nylon uh, thread. Actually, it's a nylon cotton blend. Um, and uh, so the legs were glued and tied, uh, wrapped uh, to the top rail. And then I cut cuffs to fit over the top of, uh, of that and conceal the thread and all that stuff. And the cuffs were cut uh, from a larger diameter tubing. Uh, let's see if I have a number on it. I'm not sure if I do. Oh yeah, here, it was this stuff here. So I just cut some short sections about, oh, I don't know, almost a quarter inch long of 730 seconds tubing. And, um, and just uh, cut the cuffs, slotted them, opened them up so they'd fit over the top, and then, and then seated them over the top. I also used a, a notched them uh, on the side so they'd fit around uh, the vertical leg at the top here. So they're notched here. They, they cuff over the top and what that did that created obviously an uneven surface along this top rail which has to be straight and smooth. Now, the reason that the rail is straight and smooth is that this is how it is used as a guide on the trapeze on the trapeze of the dirigible on the Akron and the Macon and the Macon. So there's a, a crossbar looks just like a trapeze bar kind of a triangular shaped uh, bar that hung down from uh, the airship, the pilot would come up and he'd want to bump that somewhere in here, make contact with it somewhere in here, and then slide the airplane forward, slide that bar all the way back to the hook, and then the hook would capture. So this had to be a smooth uh, run. It couldn't have be interrupted with these cuffs. And that's where the balsa came in. So I used a 16th inch strip stock, three pieces in each section, so three pieces around the top here three pieces around the top here and then the filler will be used to smooth that all out and then the whole thing will get a coat of aluminum paint. Actually uh, it's finished in the body color of the aircraft so it'll, it'll get a, a light gold gray coat to be to be 100% uh, uh, factual. So at any rate this is uh, the beginning of our assembly. Uh, I still have the crossbars to put on. We still have to assemble our, a decent hook. So all that's coming. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Any questions, put them in the comments section. Uh, any comments, put them in the comments section. And any, I don't know, other information you want to put in there, go right ahead. Thanks for viewing. Have a great day.